are leaning towards pharmacy and you have been honored to receive an interview, I'm hoping that this video will be helpful for you. Get your life, plan it out. You can go as far as you can dream. Edges lay, girls popping. She's a doctor of pharmacy. Hey y'all and welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. This is your girl Bianca, also known as Dr. My Curls. And I am back with another pharmacy video, okay? So y'all seem to be loving the why I chose pharmacy over medical school video. So I figured I would give y'all a follow up. If you are not already tell by the title, I'm gonna be sharing tips, advice, and everything in between for you to be successful on your pharmacy school interview. So first and foremost, congratulations. If you have interviews coming up, I'm claiming them for you. That's a huge accomplishment and a milestone, so definitely celebrate yourself. A little background about me before I jump into all of my tips. I'm currently a practicing pharmacist, and prior to going to pharmacy school, of course, I was in your shoes. So I interviewed as a pharmacy potential candidate. And once I got into pharmacy school, I served on the admissions committee all four years. And so I was able to conduct interviews for potential candidates. As a resident, I was also involved in mock interviews at both of the institutions that I attended. And then now as a practicing pharmacist, I'm still interviewing. So it's been a five year, I'm sorry, seven year stretch now, almost eight years of me conducting pharmacy school interviews at different institutions. So if that doesn't get you, I don't know what else will, but just hang tight. I promise I'm gonna share everything that I know and I hope that it's helpful. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. If you want to do a mock interview, we can set up a consultation and I can definitely go through a mock interview with you, give you feedback, review your CV, whatever you need, I'm an open book. So please, please reach out if you have any questions. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So before we get started on the question, just to give you a quick layout of how the interview day will go. Of course, this varies program to program, but essentially you will all meet in one central location. Usually they do group interviews. So they'll invite multiple people on campus at once. And what happens once you get on campus, you all go into an auditorium and get a brief introduction. So welcome to the program. You may have the Dean of Academic Affairs and Student Conduct come in and speak about the policies. You may have the Dean of the University come in and speak a little bit about the campus or the program. And then you'll break out into sessions. You'll have a tour of the university. You'll have your interview. You may have a group interview where it's multiple candidates in one room with one interviewer. You may have a dual interview where you have an alumni and a pharmacy student or an alumni and a faculty member in the same room and you're sitting on the opposite side of the table. There's also programs that have many interviews I did not personally go through that through my experience so I cannot really speak to that much but essentially you have it's almost like speed dating so you're going room to room and answering different cases or different prompts it could be something ethical where you have to make a decision on what you want to do is this the right thing to do or would you want to do something different it may be a patient case and how would you communicate with that patient and so those are different styles of interview settings. In addition to your interview, you may also have a writing prompt. As a prospective pharmacy student, they wanna see your thought process, number one, in the writing prompt. So are you thinking logically? Are you thinking the right thoughts as far as what your next steps would be? Writing sometimes can get difficult. You may have those words where you're like, receive, I before E, except after C. Okay, E, I, trust. You know what I mean? Those words that you're like, that doesn't look right. So definitely practice writing and get comfortable with writing a prompt. So remember your introduction, your body paragraphs in the middle, and then a strong conclusion to bring it all together. You are timed, so making sure that you are practicing using your time wisely in that writing prompt is gonna be very, very important. And then at the end of the day, you kind of bring it all back together and recap. So they may tell you next step. You may have time to ask further questions to those who you didn't have a chance to talk to. So that's essentially the schedule. So the first question that you are probably already expecting is going to be, tell me about yourself. When you think of the question, tell me about yourself, that's really your chance to shine. So what about you would you like the program to know? And make sure that it's something that's going to carry far. You don't want to tell them that you have three cats, two dogs, and you love to take long walks on the beach. How is that gonna make you a great pharmacy student in our program? So a quick way to answer that about me is take them through your journey. Did you complete a bachelor's degree? And if so, what is your bachelor's degree in? A lot of times we think the strong sciences play a large role into getting into pharmacy school, but to be honest, can I let you in on a secret? You can major in anything. But even if you did not major in the sciences, share that information with them. Share what 
stood out to you about the pharmacy profession. Give them some of your skill sets, some of your strengths, your personality, your hometown. So it's nice to always know where you're coming from. Even if they don't directly ask you that question, you want to be ready to answer the tell me about yourself and small talk. Maybe you are on a tour, just sitting in the waiting area, wherever you may be, that question could come up. You should know something about yourself and be ready to share that. When you're thinking about attire, please leave the heels at home. I know you want to be pretty. However, you don't have to necessarily wear heels unless you feel comfortable in them. You do not want your feet to be hurting during the tour and you can't keep up with your group. Definitely throw on a suit. Don't be afraid to get you a nice neutral color suit, navy blue, a black, even a deep purple where it kind of stands you out but it's not too vibrant. Gray is also a really good color to have. So pantsuits are always safe, comfortable shoes, a nice blouse underneath your pantsuit, and a blazer. Fellas, definitely wear suits. I wouldn't go for slim pants with the ankles out. If you're sitting down, your skin should not be exposed. So make sure that you have on professional socks. Make sure, fellas, that you are groomed. Ladies, make sure that you are groomed as well. If you wear nails, any type of extensions on your nails, make sure it's not too vibrant, too much of a design, and the length is appropriate. Just thinking about things as simple as your attire are gonna be very, very important. Another thing that a lot of people forget to do on your interview is research the program so that you can bring questions to the table. You want them to know that you know information specifically about their program. What is their class size? Where are they located? Are they in an urban area? Do they have a satellite campus? The school that I went to, we had a remote campus about an hour and a half away. And so students relocated to that campus during their third year and they had to do all of their classes remotely. So the point I'm making here is making sure that you're researching all of the public information on the website so when you come to the interview, you are prepared. Definitely ask about their curriculum. Also, is it a three or four year program? That's something that you should know before you go to the interview. That way they know if it's an accelerated program, which is three years, and you are thinking it's a four year program, they can already tell that you're not prepared. There are things that should all be on the website and you can briefly browse through it, look through their mission statement, look at some of the activities that they've done. You can Google them, that school, and see if they're in the news, any outreach that they've done in the community, if that's something that's important to you. So those are all things that you wanna make sure that you understand about the program. Situation-based questions. So a lot of times they will say, tell me about a time when you had conflict resolution or tell me about a time when your boss instructed you to do a task that was not completed properly. Tell me about a time when you had a group leader who disagreed with your leadership style. Those are questions where we're trying to gauge how do you handle conflict resolution. Even if you've worked retail and you have no pharmacy experience, share those experiences. Well, I was working at Coach during a seasonal position and my boss disagreed with the way I set up the display. Something as simple as that. Whatever your experiences are, don't hesitate to share your experiences and recognize that a lot of the students that are applying to pharmacy school also don't have experience. So don't feel like you're alone. If they ask you, tell me about a time where you had a difficulty that you had to overcome and you know that your GPA is not a true reflection of your capabilities, go ahead and mention, I'm so glad you asked that question. Actually, during my second year of undergrad, I lost focus. Be very honest. Honesty is always the best policy. I lost focus. I was distracted with things outside of my schoolwork, which led me to failing two of my hard science course, two of my basic science courses, which led me to failing two of my basic science courses. And I really felt defeated in that moment because my GPA dropped from a 3.5 down to a 2.7. And I had to do a lot of reshifting and a lot of refocusing to pull my GPA back up to what it is now. How powerful was that? Remember the person that is interviewing you will not have that information readily available to them. They don't know your GPA. They do not know what courses you failed. So sharing that information, they can bring that information back to the admin team, the admissions committee. Say, hey, you know, Tanya, who we interviewed on the 23rd, she did mention how she had to overcome adversity. She had a, a death in her family or she just lost focus during this year and that may be reflected on her transcript. You know, those are powerful stories that will stick with the admissions committee. So do not be afraid to share stories. Another important piece of the interview is to make sure when they do ask you questions, incorporate pieces of your CV within those questions. If they ask you, which this was a question that I got and that I asked students as well, what was your hardest course so far through your education? And you know what my answer was? 
I laugh now, but we had a course, a dance course, an African dance course in college. Now I was a chemistry major, okay? So this was just an elective that I chose to take. That was the hardest course of my life. And you know, me and the person that I was interviewing with, we laughed about that because it's like, wow, like who would have thought that that course could be so difficult? So whatever course, don't feel obligated. The point I'm making here is don't feel obligated to only speak about your sciences. We get it. We get it that you've taken all these hard sciences, but if there is a course that you just struggled with, social science, economics don't be afraid to share that if they ask what was your hardest course just be honest don't feel that you have to focus on the hard sciences another interesting topic that most people don't think about for your pharmacy school interview make sure you know about the current events happening in pharmacy so what right now is the hot topic in pharmacy? If you ask me that question right now, I would definitely say prescriptive authority. We are advocating with our lawmakers to give us prescriptive authority. So you can come to your pharmacist and we can write you a prescription for a medication similar to a physician. So that's a hot topic. Also contraception. So the prescribing of contraceptives over the counter, meaning you don't have to have a provider. You can come to the pharmacy, grab a new contraception. So I can prescribe you Junel FE, which is an oral birth control that you take by mouth. I can prescribe that as a pharmacist in a Walgreens. That's where pharmacy is going now. So those are just two topics, two hot topics that I can think of off the top of my head. But you wanna make sure that you're prepared so you can always check the news, check some of the pharmacy association organization websites and see what are the hot topics in pharmacy. Back years ago, it was opioid use, right? Substance abuse, things like that. So making sure if the topic comes up, you don't wanna be in a room full of candidates and they say, what is everyone's thoughts when the new laws with birth control and contraception and you're like, Right, you don't wanna be that person. So just making sure that you're up to date on current events. Also make sure that you know your CV in and out. Nine times out of 10, the team that is interviewing you does have access to your CV. So every single item on your CV is fair game. And the worst thing that can happen is you've done this great research project in chemistry freshman year, right? You're now three years out. You probably don't remember that research project, but say you have a medicinal chemist in the room that is a, a pharmacist, meaning they do heavy research and say they're interested in that exact molecule that you study, that exact genetic disorder that you study. Now they're gonna say, wow, Tom, I'm really impressed by your research that you did back in 2020 with the G1A protein. Could you tell me a little bit more about what the findings were? And now you're like, you don't wanna be that person. So making sure that you know every single line I, and just, just understand you never know who's in the room, so you don't want to mention the wrong thing and someone who's actually interested in that topic hops in and starts asking you additional questions. So play it safe and just take it off your CV. What are some great questions to ask of the program? Do they foresee any major shifts or changes in the curriculum? That's important. Some programs are going through curriculum changes, so it's important to, to ask that because you would be directly affected as a student. Are they changing the curriculum? Are they going from a three-year accelerated program to a four-year program? Are they going from a problem-based learning, which is essentially you learn on your own, to a lecture-based where someone's teaching the material? So what type of program do they currently have and where are they going in the next three to four years? So if you feel like these are things that are important to you, definitely ask those questions on the interview. Another good question if you're interviewing with a student, tell me something that you enjoy most about your about this program. Can you share your most difficult moment of pharmacy school? Can you share any tips on how to be successful in pharmacy school? Those are questions that you can go on and on. You see where I'm going here? So just a few examples of questions that you can ask of the program, but please, please, please make sure that you have questions for them. All right, so other than that, I think I am done. Um, if you have any additional questions for me, please reach out via email, I mean that. I am here to help. I strongly believe pharmacy is the way to go. So if you are interested in being a pharmacist, let me help you get there. So if you need help with your CV, if you need help talking through additional information about what pharmacists do, my day-to-day -day task, if you wanna see me do more videos on pharmacy, please comment below and let me know what you wanna see. I am an open book. I know I said that before, but I really am. So I really want to pour back into everyone. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that button and I'll see y'all in my next video.